Hi everyone, this is just a short video on how to give a subcutaneous injection. For today's demonstration video, I'm using a semaglutide ozempic pen, but it's the exact same process for a liraglutide saxenda pen. So every time you get a new pen, remove the lid and check that the fluid inside is clear and colorless. The next thing that you wanna do is attach your needle. So get your needle tip, and remove the paper covering on the outside. Now be careful, there's a needle inside, so don't prick your finger and attach it so that it's secure, but it doesn't need to be super tight. Now, the next thing that you want to do is make sure that you've got your sharps container ready. Now, you can use an old tablet or vitamin container where the needles can't permeate through. And having a spare lid is something that's really handy for later on, and I'll show you why. Now, what I like to do is remove the outer lid and put it on your lid and remove your inner lid and put this inside the outer lid. And this is for our no touch technique for later when we remove our needle. Now you'll already see, I'll just show you a close up that our needle is exposed and a little bit of fluid is starting to show through. And this is good. This means that the needle isn't blocked and the fluid is free flowing. Now, each time that you start with a new pen, we need to check the flow. And to do that, we need to dial up our pen two clicks to the flow symbol. That's the two broken lines. So click, click. Now you can see the flow symbol. I'll just show the camera a little bit closer. There you go. And we're going to hold the pen upright and release. And a lot of fluid will go everywhere now. Ooh, all right. Now we're going to dial up to 0 0.25 milligrams where it's marked. All right, can everyone see that? Good. All right, and you can also see that another drop of fluid is starting to show. Let's prime the skin. So what we need to do is choose an injection site. So you can do a subcutaneous, which means under the skin injection next to the belly button by choosing a fold. And you can rotate the side. So you can do right one side and left the next time, or you can do the fold behind the arm. But if it's your first time, it's generally easier to do the belly because that way you have two hands to coordinate with. So get your antiseptic or your alcohol swab and let's prime the area. We'll just clean it. And this is a good tip. Make sure that your alcohol or your antiseptic is nice and dry before you inject. Otherwise, it will sting when the needle goes in. So make sure that that's nice and dry. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is get our fold of skin ready. And what you can do is you can actually grab the fold of skin so that you can be sure that you're simply injecting into the subcutaneous layer. Now, the other thing I want to show you is when we're injecting, you want to make sure that you're injecting perpendicular to the fold of skin. You don't want to be injecting on an angle and you also want to go in and out perpendicular. You don't want to go in, give it a jiggle and go out on a different angle. Otherwise the needle is going to be bending and it's going to scratch you. So go in, press the button. Once it's finished clicking, count six Mississippis and then go out. So let's do that now. Ready? Here we go. In. It's finished clicking, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, and out, and use our cotton ball for any fluid or blood. We can put on our Band-Aid if you wish. And now we've got our needle to deal with. And often there'll be a little drop of fluid left over. Don't worry about that. Now, some people will teach you to remove the needle like this and to try not to prick your finger in the process. I like to use the no touch method, which is remember our lid in a lid on a lid. Um, what I like to do is actually 
pop the needle by guiding it back inside the lid like so and just making it firm and unscrewing it off. So you've protected your finger from the sharp needle. And then we put this needle inside our sharp spin and return the cap on and store it away from heat and light ready for next week. All right, thank you, bye.